Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Got the power of number five, number seven, and number one. Okay. Looks like we're going to the number 13. 13 in tarot <laughs> represents the sign of Scorpio with the death card, change and transformation, being the phoenix rising up out of the ashes. Your person wants a transformation between the two of you. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Others of you could be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You may be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or an Aries born in the month of March. However, strong Capricorn energy coming in through the number 15 more Aquarius energy coming in through the number 17. Libra energy coming in through the number 11 because that would represent the Justice card. However, you could be dealing with another Scorpio or possibly a Sagittarius born in the month of November. Gemini, Virgo, and Aries energy coming in through the number 1. That would represent the Magician card. But either way, there's a change here. You could be 31, 35, or 37 years of age. You could have been born in 1951, 1953, or 1957 for my more mature audience. Others of you could have been born in 1971, 1973, or 1975. You could be 51, 53, and or possibly 57 years of age for my more mature audience. <coughs> Excuse me. But... Going to the power of number 13 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. Messages from your person. And 13. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Uh, they're getting back on solid ground or they're moving into singlehood, especially if they have been dealing with a third party. But they also see you, Scorpio, in a different light. They may know that you elevated your life or they could have found out through the grapevine that you were elevating your life. Or seeing you as this strong and confident, independent person. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. Well, interesting. You know, in the last Scorpio reading, you came in as the star card, Scorpio. Oh, they're wanting reconciliation big time here. They see you as the shining star. They could be worried too that, or, you know, you could be in the public eye, or maybe some of you Scorpios will be in the public eye, and they're going to be looking at you so differently. Power of number five coming in on the bottom of the deck. Number five came up on the first roll of the dice. Again, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. So they got commitment on the brain. They could also be technically married to someone else right now. But this is like wisdom and discernment. 
knowing perfectly well. And again, it's about the energy from them unto you. A spiritual awakening. Or they see you now in a very powerful position or you got back your power. Like you're not, you may not be pining over them the way you used to. They know you are the truth and they want to speak their truth. They're getting a form of mental clarity. You could be dealing, got Aquarius energy coming in through the star card, but you could be dealing with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Ace of Swords. They know you are the truth. And I think they know that you're rising above them. But they got commitment on the brain here. This is about settling down. Or they're going to see you be exceptionally successful, Scorpio. I don't know if this person's going to know what to do with themselves. Some of you Scorpios are coming into some money. Or your business adventures are going to pay off. But I still have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. But they've got a major judgment call on them. They're coming back for a reconciliation. What you don't see coming is to come in and give you a marriage proposal. Yep. And they know that they have to put the other connection to an end or it's going to be the third party that's going to put their connection to a halt, to a stop with your person. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on in their environment. I just think this person cannot get you off the, off of their mind. I feel like they're just obsessing over you. They're trying to find the pathway. Okay. Not maybe in the literal sense. Okay. But it's more on a metaphoric level. You are the truth. You are the light. You are the pathway, Scorpio, for this soulmate connection. And I feel like they know this. They're in despair. They let you go. They're feeling the burn or the repercussions of their actions. Yeah. Some of you Scorpios are going to be very powerful and very successful and they're going to see this happen and they're, they're going to be thinking, what the F did I do? Mm -hmm. A lot of you Scorpios will end up becoming globally known around the world. But they have a gift for you. They want to give you something. Yeah. This person is totally besides themselves. Mm -hmm. It's like, I had no clue. I keep hearing this off of them. I had no clue. I had no clue. I had no clue. You're above them. You're above them. You are above them. And, and, and some of you guys have been holding this person so high on a pedestal subconsciously. Can't do that anymore. Can't do that anymore. Bottom line. I, I feel like they're thinking they're a dumbass right now.
Huh. I'm hearing from them. I should have never gotten involved with the karmic. They had codependency issues. They could have had addiction issues. Drug addictions, porn addictions, sex addictions, gambling addictions, drinking addictions. Yeah, they're getting ready to release somebody here. The time has come to clear your energy. They're gonna, When they try to come in with that judgment energy, they're going to be a little bit flirtatious. Some of them will extend your lighthearted energy to others. They've been trying to figure out for so long, what is this connection? Past life. There's a sense of comfortability that the two of you shared with one another. There were common interests. That is true. You have known each other before. Yeah. Yeah, I see something here. Trust the ancestors. How does this despair make Scorpio's person feel? They're feeling the burn, you guys. They're feeling the burn of their actions of walking away or their actions gave you no choice but, but for you to walk away. I think this person's feeling like, oh my God, Scorpio's walked away from me forever. Even if they're with somebody else, they're thinking that subconsciously. They were blindsided. By so many things. They couldn't get their act together. They didn't know how to stand up. If they had exes that they were dealing with. Or baby mama drama. Like they. It oh. Oh oh oh. It just irks me. They didn't know how to stand up. For the connection. They were weak. You guys. Weak. They were weak. The thought of you drives me crazy. What did I say? They it's they cannot get you off of their mind. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. I think this has to do with the period of time where you have stood your ground, you kept your level or your sense of self-respect, hopefully you did. Don't forget about me. I haven't forgotten about you. Mm -hmm. They're afraid of hurting you. Again, their insecurity. They want this connection so bad, they're afraid that they're going to mess up. They're afraid they're going to mess up big time. They have to come to you with such a level of perfection. This is the pressures on them. The pressures on them to have this sense of perfection. They're walking on their own eggshells. They're walking on their own eggshells because you're, you're thriving. You're going to thrive. You're going to succeed and grow Scorpio. You're going from a nine into a 10. And in between that, you are the truth. 
They've known this now. They didn't see it before, but they know it now. You are the truth. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a reading summer special for questions for $25. So if you'd like to get on my earliest recording schedule, again, email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Victoria will send you the proper information on how to book that reading and also how to pay for your reading. But in the meantime, my awesome Scorpios, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.